Welcome to episode 2022, Mitchell Morgan, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 2022, lesson 1 to 5, lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, he was a full-time shoe salesman in his father's shoe company. Lesson 2, his business is very boring. Success. It's a very boring business. Existing apartments. My life is boring. We're going to stick to our boring knitting business. If you want to have something more interesting in life, get a hobby. Lesson 3. Buying aging apartments, also known as Class B properties. Morgan largely invests in what's known as Class B apartments. Older properties that target tenants with lower incomes than those attracted to luxury buildings. He's earned his success by investing in older apartment buildings in mid-sized cities and quickly renovating them to increase rents. Lesson 4. He worked through two college degrees. His way through business school at Temple University. Graduated in 1976. After that, he worked as an accountant to pay for his law school, which he graduated in 1980. He never practiced as a lawyer. Lesson 5. He's a number and big picture person. Lesson 6. He made up his mind to be a businessman at the age of 10 after he witnessed his father's bankruptcy. His father was bankrupt twice. Lesson 7. The second generation and his daughter is now running the day-to-day business of Morgan Properties. And if each of you takes that word, remembers that word, and remembers the building blocks beneath all of of, um, our values, you know, we're really off to the races. So let's get into what are the values that we... Lesson 8, contrarian investing. Properties is privately owned. He says, quote, We're buying in markets that people don't want to buy in, and Wall Street doesn't have to tell us what to do because we don't care what Wall Street says. Lesson 9, recession-proof investment. One complex he owns in Elmwood Park, New Jersey, dates to 1950. While they might not be as valuable as newly built, top-of-the-line apartments, Morgan's properties tend to provide more stable cash flow and suffer fewer swings during recessions when tenants are priced out of more expensive buildings opt to downgrade. For watching, please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. This is Paul Chan in Sydney, Australia, wishing everyone peace and prosperity.